Okay, everybody, we are going to work on building a board. How to do board diagrams, Mr. G way. So follow along. Once you get the hang of it, it's a pattern. It'll make sense. But don't look other places because if you look at other places, they'll have the teach you guys how to do it a little differently. Mr. G has a very special way of doing it. Do it my way. I have a reason for doing it my way. Follow along. Yes, it's not completely accurate, but follow along. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to add electrons. And we have to add them in the order of shell filling, which is 288. So the first shell, this is board diagrams. We're not doing the little arrow stuff, just plain board diagrams. First electron goes into the first shell. So here, let's grab an electron, goes in the first shell, put it in 12 o'clock. So think of it either north, east, south, and west, or clockwise 12, 3, 6, and 9. So we're going to follow that around the clock pattern. So here, 12 o'clock, or north, or up, goes the first electron. But, Mr. G, uh, I see it on another website. It has it over here. Yeah, uh, please put it over here. Thank you. Second electron. Once again, you're going to be like, Mr. G, do I put it next to it? I see it on the website. It has it next to the hill. Please put it at 3 o'clock, please. It's my way. But, Mr. G, it's a pair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry about that for now. Okay, so that is the inner core that is helium with two electrons so now we go into the next if you look at your periodic table the first one was hydrogen second one was helium and now we go into the next shell first shell is filled with two next shell we put electron up again once again 12 o'clock so that one is lithium with three electrons, one on the outer shell, which we'll get to uh, tomorrow. Then we have the second one is going to go also to the side. Mr. G, it's not perfect. Doesn't have to be. And you'll see why it's a little off in a second. But you get the idea. Three o'clock. Next one, third electron, fourth, third electron in the outer shell or fifth total electron. Five electrons is B for boron. That one goes at six. So now we're starting to go around the clock. And then we have the next one after boron comes carbon. And carbon, once again, nine o'clock. So now we're going around the clock. We've gone around the clock one time, one time around the clock, four electrons. We'll see because carbon does this, it's able to do lots of bonding, which we is the basis of organic chemistry, which we'll get to later. So for now, let's add another electron again. We're just building on the electrons, adding another one. Here comes nitrogen, which has another electron. Where does it go? Mr. G, do I put it in the middle over here like it shows on the periodic table, on the, you know, Khan Academy? Or No, put it here. It's a pair. But Mr. G, what if the pair goes, just, just please put it at 12 o'clock. Make it a pair at 12 o'clock. The next one, following the pattern we had before, second one turns into a pair, goes at 3 o'clock. But, Mr. G, please indulge me. Follow along. Okay, next. Guess we're following the pattern. We're following patterns here. This is the periodic table full of patterns. This is a pattern. Please follow the pattern. Next one goes, ah, drag, drop, 6. So now we have... This is fluorine. It has one pair, two pair, three pairs in its outer shell, and one electron ready for bonding. So now we hit the next guy, which is neon. Oh, by the way, just in case you're curious, that is fluorine. There you go. And carbon was the one that we had four, four in the outer shell. And the next one is going to be neon. So we add another electron to that outer shell. Same place. But, Mr. G, it's not perfect. It's okay. 
as long as I see pair at 12, pair at 3, pair at 6, and pair at 9, you are good. That, dink, is neon. Neon is a noble gas. It is a noble gas because it has a full outer shell of eight electrons, an octet. It has one pair, two pairs, three pairs, four pairs. It is full. It is happy. It is neon. It's a noble gas. Okay, so now after the noble gas comes the next guy on our list, which is potassium. Oh, sorry, my bad. Sodium that has 11 electrons. But Mr. G, there's no sodium on here. I know, it doesn't matter. So we're adding another electron. This is a practice dragging and dropping. Oh, next shell. Don't forget, sodium has third period down, three rings, third shell. First electron goes on top. Mr. G, put it on top, please. Thank you. This is the pattern. Follow the pattern along. Now, the last electron that is in this cute little model is magnesium. Mr. G, do I put it up here as a pair? No. Did I say pair? No. You put that one over here at 3 o'clock like I told you. You're following the same pattern going around before you pair. That's, by the way, pole exclusion principle, but not doesn't really apply here. So they don't pair up unless they have to. So here they go. Two across, two in the outer shell. It has a total of 12 electrons, two in the first shell, eight in the second shell, and two in the last shell. So it's two, eight, two, which, by the way, is da -da, magnesium. Please do it that way. Follow the order. But, Mr. G, I clicked the check my work button and it didn't have the exact, and get rid of that. It didn't have the exact same thing as you had, because look, it made, this one had, uh, this one followed along kind of, and this one was just what you did, and this one is what you did kind of, and this one, they made the dot on the bottom here instead. <sighs> I didn't make the answer key, but guess what? They did this one the way I do it, they did this one the way I do it, and they did this one the way I do it. So. I'm very happy that three out of four ain't bad. Okay, so that is how you do it. 12, three, six, nine. Then if you need to pair, 12, three, six, and nine. Once you hit eight per shell, except for the first shell that only gets two, eight per shell, it's filled. Then you start filling the next shell. Then you start filling the next shell and it just keeps on going. But, Mr. G, what about the Ds? We're not doing bores with D, thank goodness. Okay, so hopefully this helps you understand how to do the bore diagram. And once you understand how to do the bore diagram this way, you'll be able to do the Lewis dot in the exact same way, which are just the outer valence electrons, which are these dots on the outside. So for magnesium, the outer shell has one on top and one on the side. Two valence electrons, which is the way I would like you to do it. When we do bores, after the bores, when we do Lewis's, just the outer shells. Okay? So hopefully that helped you, and see you guys tomorrow.